it. So let's add a subdivision surface and we'll drop our symmetry object underneath the subdivision and you can see it shows you what it's going to look like as it's smoothed out. We want to add a little bit more detail here around that mouth. So let's turn this off temporarily. Now to sharpen up the lip we can use our knife to do that. Add what's called support edges. So let's select the cube We'll use our knife with the loop mode selected. And I want to tighten up this edge right here, so I'm just going to add one right around there. If we take a look, you can see that that now tightens up that lip. Now, this is going to be a very important area. Let me get out of this tool here. This corner of the mouth is going to actually be a really important area on any of your characters, even something that's really simple and cartoony. The if you do this incorrectly, it's going to be very obvious that this is, you know, it's going to be, it's going to really show um, if you do this wrong, because you really want that fold to be there. It's kind of a fleshy fold around the edge, and it's sort of tucked under, um, and you can get what's called kind of a fish hook look um, if you don't spend some time on this area. So I'd spend a little bit of extra time uh, on that area. Let's use our knife, though, to start to get a little bit more detail detail around there. So let's go to the line. I'm just going to start up here and draw across. I'm going to cut across here and come down and then across the front and all the way back around. Okay, so we have these two triangles here. Let's grab these. I'm just going to weld those together. And let's do the same thing down here. And I'm just going to move it back a little bit. So I want to sort of tuck in this upper lip. And so let's go ahead and bring this kind of down and in. Okay, we'll kind of pull that out a little bit. Let's pull this over a bit. And let's grab this edge right here. I'm just going to pull this one sort of up a little. And so you can see where this is still kind of bulging out right there. We want to have a little bit more geometry in there to, uh, to, to work with. So let me actually pull this in a little bit as well. And let's take this and we'll take all these points and just kind of pull them down a little. And you can spend a little bit more time if you want to come in, come in and add an extra loop in here. Um, then I would first probably say that you'd want to take these edges down a little bit. Probably take these up. Okay, and then you could use your loop to add another edge right in here. to kind of help you define that a little bit more. We'll kind of bring this up and then this one will kind of pull out a little bit more. And give it just a little bit more definition there on the on the corner. Okay. And then you can start to shape the lips a little bit more. Now we don't have a ton of geometry to work with because we're working pretty low res, but um, you can come in and add, you know, if you build your head that with a little bit more resolution there, then you have more points that you're able to move around to create a little bit more of a shape there. But I like the fact that this is sort of overhanging. So I'm going to even move that down a little bit more. And you can go into your subdivision surface and kind of see what the result will be. And so I wanted to definitely sort of come in and overlap a little bit. Maybe take this one and move it up. 
So something like that will work. And you can turn off your uh, lines display if you want to take a look at it. So once you've got a little bit more detail on the lips, and you can even go in, and if you want to add some sort of wrinkling around there, you could do that. Just be aware of where those lines are going when you add those because they're going to be affecting different parts of the model as well. So the next thing we'll do is let's actually build some eyes for this guy before we start to form the eyelids around the eyes because that'll make it a lot. You can build around it and sort of a reference in. So uh, let's go ahead and bring in a sphere right over here. And let's move it up. I'm going to leave it as a standard sphere. Let's rotate it around a little bit. And I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees so that the pivot or the uh, the uh, pole is facing forward. Let's also reduce the size until it's roughly the size that we're going to want. I'll move it forward a little bit. So we need to, to bring it down a little bit more. Let's actually just use the radius setting instead of scaling it. So something like that. It's going to be close. Now I want to add a little bit of, of detail to the eye here. Um, and so to do that, uh, let's actually go into the sphere. I'm going to smooth this out a little bit. Let's say we're not going to be smoothing this. And so we'll just build that smoothness into the geometry. So I think 36 is probably pretty good. You can still smooth it if you want. but um, And so I want to come in and I want to figure out where I want the iris and where I want the pupil. So I think if we just use this as the iris and this as the pupil, it should work. So let's go in and I'm just going to select these polygons here. And to do that, I have to make it editable first. Come in and I'm just going to pull this in just like that. Okay, I can also scale it to kind of flatten it out. So something like that. And that's probably a little bit too far in, so maybe something like that. And if you want to make the pupil bigger, you can sort of do that. Let's see how that looks. Let's turn off our shading. Let me come in here and in the Fong tag, just set that to a, a lower angle there. And so that just allows us to see those hard edges. So with that sphere selected, let's go ahead and move it into position. I'm going to turn lines back on. Let's move it over here. I want to kind of get it in the, you know, kind of close here. And again, it's a little bit too big, so we can kind of bring it down a little. And also, I want to rotate it out a little bit. His eye is going to be kind of sticking out. So, something like that. Let's scale it down a little bit more. You can come to the, uh, to the two views here and kind of line it up that way if you want to. So it looks like I could stand to move it out a little bit. Okay, so something like that. You can see it doesn't match up perfectly, but now we have something in there where we can start to move around our head geometry to match up with the eye. So let's do that. Let's come in in the next lesson and begin to modify the eye socket. Let's just come in and I'm going to select the points. I'm going to select the ones right at the top. Any, anything that we can't really see, I'm going to kind of pull it up so it's right outside of where that sphere sort of intersects with the head. Kind of right in there. Let's take these ones down here, pull them down a little bit, and we'll do the same thing down here at the bottom. Just kind of pull this down just a little so they're kind of right outside there. Here we can kind of pull these in a little bit. And just want to make sure I don't have anything else selected. There we go. Kind of pull those in a bit. Okay, let's do the same thing up here. I kind of pull these 
in and then also maybe towards that intersection. And we'll do the same thing here. So get so that kind of rim of faces that we have around there, uh, we can sort of pull those out. Okay, so now let's select those polygons. So let's select this whole sort of row here all the way around. Okay, and now let's do an extrude on those. So do an extrude. And I'm just going to kind of pull those out a little bit. All right. So now I'm just going to use this as sort of the, the lids. So let's take these. I'm just going to pull them down so they're right around the outside of the eye. And if you want to, you can turn on your subdiv to kind of just give you a little bit better idea. So we're just kind of getting it so it's wrapped a little bit tighter around the surface. So it's already pretty close to where we want it to be. Kind of pull this in and let's actually make a little bit more of like an angle here to where it comes to kind of a point. Can kind of turn that off. Okay, so now we can begin to uh, kind of figure out if I want it to come a little bit further. We can kind of tighten up the edges. So uh, let's actually do that towards the end. I'm going to come in and let's use our knife to add a little bit more detail right in there so we can start to come in and maybe take those out a little bit further. So now we have another line in there where we can kind of bring this out and down. So it kind of starts to curve down and around the eye versus just being right around the edge. Let's do the same thing on on the bottom. Let's kind of pull this out and up just so it kind of wraps around. And you can see how this would be really, really difficult if we didn't have a piece of eye geometry in there. We'd be able to you know, move these points around, but we wouldn't know where they're supposed to go. Okay, now if you want to add a little bit more detail in here, we can come in and let's use our knife we can kind of bring this in and let's go to uh, a loop selection. And oh, I know what's wrong. Go to loop selection and let's turn off boundary loop. And we can just start to create a little bit of, you know, more detail here as far as like wrinkles and things. So we can do the same thing here. Again, selecting the loop and maybe scaling it down just a little bit. And then to sharpen up the edges, we can use our knife. Again, you can kind of preview what that looks like. And we can turn off our lines and kind of get a better idea. So you can see how this is really still pretty rounded off. Okay, and so you could come in here with your knife. And you remember, if you want to sharpen it up, we just add more lines here. So let me select my cube, knife, and let's come in and add a loop that goes across here and here. And that'll serve to sharpen up those corners and give you a little bit more of like an eye eyelid shape. Now you might have to move it in towards the face a little bit more. Okay, so now we can come in and grab points like, for instance, here. We could come in and grab those points and start to move those in. Just to make this line a little bit nicer. 
And then anywhere you see where it's kind of off of the surface, you can come in and, and just make sure that it's tight up against there. Same thing back here. And you can see how this is kind of sticking off of the surface. Let's make sure we pull that back in towards the eye. Okay, and that gives us this sort of lizard-like eye coming off of the side, this eyelid that kind of wraps around the eye and, and holds it into the surface of the, the head. If you want to, you can come in and kind of smooth out um, you know, the areas back here a little bit if you need to. But you are going to have, I mean, it's coming right off of the head, so it's not going to be integrated super cleanly into the rest of there. But if you wanted to use like the brush, you could come in there and do that. And because we're using symmetry, it's already done it on the other side. If you want to, you know, move the eye over there too, we'll just call this eye left and then we'll add a new symmetry object. Drop the eye underneath there and that gives you your other eye on the other side. Okay, and then you can come in and modify this. I think I definitely want to, let's use the uh, the brush here. So use the brush and I want to use, um, let's use smear. And I'm just going to kind of pull this whole part of the head in a little bit to give it kind of a little bit more shape. And let me, that's the strength. There we go. I'm kind of pull this in a little bit. Okay. So something like that for the eye. And then in the next lesson, let's come in and add a little bit more detail to this. So for the head, so we can add a little bit more detail up here across the front of the mouth and maybe down at the chin. Um, well, actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's create a neck first. So um, let's take this symmetry out and bake it down. So we'll make it editable. Remember that gives us our head without the symmetry on it. And for the neck, I'm just going to take a selection of polygons at the base. And it doesn't have to match up as far as the resolution with anything else because we're, this is going to turn into one, uh, his sort of shirt. Um, so let's do an extrude inner. Kind of pull this down a little bit. And then before we extrude it out, we can kind of come in and scale it down and kind of flatten it a little bit. Um, let's scale it in the X. Um, and then we can sort of make it a little bit more circular shaped. So let's take these corner points and just scale those in a little. And you can see we can start to get a little bit more of a cylinder look there. Now let's do an extrude. And we'll pull this kind of straight down. So we'll be able to kind of place it later, but we can delete those polygons. And then let's use our knife to add a couple lines in there. And then we can come in and just temporarily sort of scale those down. So we get something like that. And we can integrate it with the shirt as we go. Um, one thing I do want to add is I want a little bit more detail on the, the head here. And so... One of the ways we can do that is to add a little bit of kind of wrinkle. So let's come in and I'm just going to grab this edge and sort of pull it in. Grab this one. Just pull it up a little bit and then let's grab these and pull those in a little. And so we can start to create a little bit more. And let's drop this back into the subdivision surface and create some kind of wrinkling up there on the which can just add a little bit. Okay. And you can see those sharp lines in there. So I'm going to turn off the angle limit. Um, and if you want this to extend back around, then you can kind of grab these corresponding points here pull that out and then it'll extend it back down a little bit more. 
Uh, let's add a little bit of kind of a chin here. So let's grab some polygons. Let's do kind of these four. I'll turn this off temporarily. And let's just do an extrude. So I'll kind of extrude that out. And then I'm just going to kind of scale this down. And I want to also sort of rotate it back towards the body. Bring it down a little bit. And kind of want to see what that looks like. All right. So if you want to shape that a little bit more, you can see it's kind of you know square, a little bit too square. You can do a little bit to, to ease that by pulling those in. And then if you want to, you can, again, depending on your workflow, if you can use triangles, then you can just blend this back in. Or um, you could actually, for instance, so if I take this and let's weld these points back into the into the face. So weld them back in. So now you can see I'm making triangles on the side. Let's weld that back in. Um, so one of the things that we can do here is if we want to kind of tighten up this chin, we can use the knife. And I'm going to use line and just come from the base of the triangle and go all the way around to the base of the other triangle. And then I'll grab these points and I'm just going to kind of pull them down a little bit. Okay, and then when we smooth it, it gives us quads still, but it, it lets us kind of tighten up that area um, for the chin. Okay. Um, and then you can also... Let me turn on the lines here. Sorry about that. Um, you probably want to take these points right up here that we have for the, the chin. And we'll kind of move them back in a little bit. Okay, so we get something like that. And I'm gonna I would probably say that we want to kind of de emphasize that just a little. It's probably a little bit too much. So I'm just deselecting anything back here. And then I can kind of bring this up. Scale it in a little bit. And you get something like that. Okay, so just uh, spend a little bit of time with that. If you want to add a little bit more detail on the lips themselves, you can do that too. Um, so the next thing we want to do is start to detail the shirt. So we have this whole body as one sort of piece and start to build the actual uh, individual pieces. And so for this one, we want to build a shirt. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this, just control drag it down. And I'm going to turn off the visibility of the initial one just by turning the spotlight red or this uh, stoplight red rather. And let's call this something like shirt. And then I just want to go in and I'm going to delete any of the polygons that we don't want included in the shirt. And so if uh, I want it to come kind of right above the elbow, so let me actually add using the knife a loop right where I want to cut it. And now I can come in and select those polygons. Let me get a rectangle selection and just drag across those. Okay, and then I can come in and delete the hand out of there. Now I also want to cut it, and there's actually, you can tell where the seam is, it's kind of right there. And so that is kind of the line that I want to get rid of there, so we'll go ahead and delete that. And then I can delete the leg as well. Remember, we still have that other piece here. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, let's add any detail that we think we want to add that's going to be symmetrical. So let's say that we want to have a little bit of detail here on the sleeve. So let's use um, the knife. We'll add a loop kind of right in here. Let's also take this edge. And I just want to give a little bit of thickness here. So let's select the loop. And I want to select the edge loop. Here we go. And let's do an extrude. And I want to 
pull this straight in, so I'm going to change this edge angle down to around 90 degrees. So we get something like that. Now, if we want to get kind of a raised seam here, um, we can select the face loop and do an extrude out like that. Okay, and if we want to tighten it up, then it's just a matter of using the knife to add loops there. And let's just leave it like that. Okay, so now let's take our shirt and let's start to make this symmetrical shirt, make the other side of it. Let's make sure and check and make and just see that everything is connected like it should be. We'll take that symmetry and let me just say make editable so it kind of bakes it down. Now I want to do sort of a, a collar. And so I can take this top edge and let's sort of take this down a little bit. I'm going to deselect these edges right here. There we go. And now let's do an extrude. And I just want to kind of pull this straight up. Oops. There we go. Until it kind of comes around the, the neck there. And we'll be we can extend that neck down a little bit too. Just make sure that that's close. Doesn't have to be exact, but just something close. And then I'll take this neck piece this front piece down and maybe turn it into a little bit more of a rounded off opening there. You can see all these leftover points as can always be gotten rid of by going to optimize. Okay, now we can go back to our neck and if we just grab those bottom bits we can kind of pull that down. Now back to our shirt. Let's come in and add a little bit more detail around the chest area. And if you want to do some sort of wrinkles coming across here, you'll just need a few extra lines. And then you can come in and select those points and just as we did with the face. And you can get more complex with these, but we're we're staying pretty simple. With this design, just kind of pull this out a little. And you just want these sort of alternating lines here. So something like that. Now you also want to add thickness up here, any of these, anywhere we have these exposed um, edges, we want to add thickness to those. Okay, so let's take, uh, go to edge. Let's select a loop. And we want to select a boundary. So we'll select this entire thing. And then we'll do an extrude on that. Again, with around 90 degrees selected there. And then let's do one more. And for this, let's change this angle so it's in. And then we can just sort of pull it in. Okay, and then you know, we can take, we do want it to sort of be, we don't want a lot of open areas in here where, it's, uh, where the geometry is not penetrating. And so let's kind of take this out a little bit to kind of fill up that space. Now, if we grab another subdivision surface and we put the shirt in it, you can see it's going to really smooth out that collar. So if you want to tighten that up, all you have to do is use your knife. So let me grab the knife. And we'll add a loop right in here. Kind of tighten that up. And then right up here, kind of tighten that area. Okay, so something like that. And then if you want to, you can do like the same thing we did with the with this piece. You can do the same thing up here at the top of the collar. 
So that gives us our sort of shirt, which we've got it named. And we still have our the rest of our body there. Okay, so we're not going to need uh, the body underneath, but we can get rid of that uh, coming up in the next lesson. So we've got our, our head and our shirt. So the next thing that uh, we want to do is kind of, let's make another copy just so we're always keeping that base there if we need it. So for this one, we only need we only need the polygons below the waist. So let's go ahead and get rid of any of these polygons that don't fit the bill. And then we'll come in across here. So just those. Okay, now I also want to have the boot be separate. So I'm going to make another copy. And let's call this one pants, this one boot. So with the boot selected, let's select all these polygons right down to there. And then we'll turn the pants back on, select that, and we'll delete all the other polygons. So now we have pants and boot. All right, for the pants, let's add symmetry to that. Drop those in. And let's make that editable. Now, a little detail that I want to add up here is sort of uh, anytime we have these, you know, even in something that's really cartoony, when you have these pieces that are touching or intersecting, we want to pay particular attention uh, to those. And so uh, let's go to edges. We'll select a loop, select this boundary loop, and let's do an extrude and pull it in. So something like that. Let me pull the edge angle down so it's kind of coming more straight in. Now we can use our knife and let's start to add a little bit of detail right here. Okay, and then we can select, uh, let's go to live selection, polygons, let's actually select the loop. And I'll select those and we'll do an extrude and just pull it out just a little bit. Now let's drop it into a subdivision surface. We can kind of see that gives us a little bit more detail there. Now for the for the shirt, we want to actually really sell that this is kind of tucked in and that there's actually some pieces there. And you can see we'll fix that up in a second. But um, so let me grab all these points for the shirt, just the ones on the bottom. Okay, and let's pull it down so it's sort of inside the pants, okay? And as an extra level here, let's use our knife. Let's add a new line right in there, okay? And let's grab that line. And let me go to live selection. Let's grab it and let's pull it out a little bit. So there's a little bit kind of, of a bulge there. Now you can see it's sort of overlapping and so we can fix that by just taking everything under there and then scaling it all down just a little bit. But we want that bulge to be there. So let's take all that and we'll just scale it down a little bit. I just think it looks a little bit nicer to have that kind of look there. Now, as far as this goes, you can tell that some points are kind of off. Okay, and so what we can do is just select those. We'll do weld and weld them together. So that just means that those points weren't exactly on the right plane. Okay. And I would just do the same thing with the boot. Okay, add the little rim up at the top. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. Just use our knife. Again, think about what's going to be tucked into what. So I think I want to tuck the pants into the boot. 
So let's select our loop and extrude. Now let's select a loop of polygons. Pull it out a little bit. And if we want to tighten it up, knife will do that. Now let's grab subdivision surface. And that gives you the, the top of the boot there. And then you just want to make sure that the leg is tucked in. So we've got the pants. Let's grab both sides and just pull it straight down. Okay, and remember we can go in and optimize our points. Not only on that, but also on the boot. And then symmetry will allow you to create the other boot really quickly. You can do symmetry inside of the subdivision surface or the other way around. So now we've got our boots, got our pants, got our shirt tucked into the, the pants there. So the next thing that we want to do is add some of these smaller little details here, like a belt buckle and insignia.